all right now in this lecture we will proceed with the remaining part of the manufacturing process where we will develop a finished product and arrive at its cost and in order to do that we will select the option inventory vouchers so that we can get into stock journal screen over here press alt f7 and select the manufacturing journal now in the manufacturing journal in the first field name of the product press the space bar key and select the product ultra pc which would be a finished item so as soon as you select the product ultra pc we have defined its bill of material which is selected by default and in the field go down press the space bar key and specify the location of the go down where you want to store this finished product so i'll select the go down sarojini nagar go down and specify the quantity that you want to manufacture so we have purchased certain monitor cpu and all the components which are required to develop a pc and out of those components we want to develop 50 finished pc so i'll enter that quantity over here and press the enter key now if you remember when we purchased these raw materials we purchased 100 units of monitor cpu keyboard and mouse and 200 units of speaker and as soon as you specify the quantity of finished items that you want to produce the required number of raw materials would be specified and calculated so for example if i want to manufacture only one pc then you can see that i would require one unit of monitor cpu keyboard mouse and two units of speakers similarly if i want to manufacture 50 units of pc i would require this much quantity of raw materials now press the enter key or tab key and specify the location from where you have acquired this raw materials so i acquire all these raw materials from the godown where we have been storing this raw materials now keep pressing the tab key until you reach over here under the field type of additional cost so in case if you have incurred any additional cost while manufacturing process then you can create its ledger under indirect expenses and select it and specify the amount of extra cost which incurred during manufacturing process so i incurred labor charge of rupees 3000 to manufacture these pieces so with inclusion of labor charge you can see that the price of each pc has been increased by rupees 60 so earlier it was 47000 rupees so if you calculate now so you can see that the item rate is 47000 without labor charge and along with the charge the price would get increased and then save the manufacturing journal all right now let's go back to gateway of tally and select the option stock summary so that we can view our finished product which is ultra pc so we have 50 units of this pc with us and we can sell it all right so i hope that you understand the concept of bill of materials and manufacturing process in tally and we are now uh, left with one more thing which i need to explain so we are also required to transfer finished product from our godown to our business locations so how do we uh, pass stock journal entries so that we can transfer goods from one location to another and in order to demonstrate that i am required to create a godown called showroom which would be in sarojini nagar we have a showroom in sarojini nagar location okay and i will save this godown creation and what i will do is i will go to inventory watchers menu over here and press alt f7 so that i can select stock journal 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the finished product by pressing the spacebar key and specify the location from where I want to transfer these goods. So I'll select the go down over here and I will specify the quantity that I want to transfer. So I want to tran transfer 25 units of this PC at cost price. And where do I want to transfer? I want to transfer it to our showroom. And then save the stock journal entry. So this is the use of stock journal. And with this, I conclude this section on bill of materials or manufacturing process using tally.